Hello everyone, I'm back. My name is V. Today I'd like to talk about The Old Curiosity Shop by Charles Dickens. And this book was on my TBR last month, but I didn't finish reading it. So I decided to continue reading this book during Victober. Anyhow, The Old Curiosity Shop is one of the two novels which Dickens published along with the short stories in his weekly serial Master Humphrey's Clock from 1840 to 1841. It was published in book form in 1841. My edition was published in 1972 by the Penguin English Library. The story is very enchanting and the book is charming and beautifully written and also has enough drama to keep the readers quite interested. I really enjoy reading this book as well as the ink illustration. I really love it. I, it makes me happy to see the illustration in the book, either ink or colored. I feel like it's something I never grow out of. And the novel does has a fantastic introduction which gives insight into Deacon's motivations for writing and investigate a little deeper into the theme and major plot event of the story. I would recommend reading the introduction after reading the book because there are major spoiler. And the old curiosity shop tells of Nell Trent, a young girl living in an old curiosity shop who cares for her grandfather selflessly. Her grandfather owns the shop they sell all random things, but they are not doing very well. Daniel Quelp seizes the shop because they can pay their debt to him and they have to flee. Dickens, his literary characters demonstrated very well. The villain in this book is a quite a villain. I hate him. I hate him with all the fiber of my body. I never could really picture him as a human though. He is a horrible, wicked man, and there are also a great cast of supporting characters. I was so surprised by the ending, but Dickens is always full of surprise. I feel sad for Nell, and the other thing that surprised me was about, I mean, even though this is called All Curiosity Shop, but hardly any of the book takes place there. I don't want to give it away because I don't want to spoil the book. I don't want spoilery here, not at all. For me, it's a four-star read. It's a good book, just not my favorite Dickens. I enjoy reading this book. Actually, I the book is enjoyable. I will recommend it. Definitely, it's worth reading. If you read it, please let me know. Comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day or a lovely night whenever you are in the world. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!